After days and weeks of Downing Street scandals, the Tory party and senior members are now asking for Boris Johnson to resign. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. He wants to apologise. This was the Prime Minister's questions earlier today when the Prime Minister came out and said that, well, I'm sorry that I went to this party. Uh, I just don't know if it was a party. Uh, it was a work thing, even though everybody was invited. We had drinks um, and <laughs> not really sure. I think this is a good sign that the party was so good that they needed an investigation to find out if the party actually happened. No one remembers. But now we have senior members from a, a no number of the senior Tories like Roger Gale and now the leader of the Scottish Conservatives, Douglas Ross, have come out to say that the Prime Minister's time is now up. This is the first time we've actually had the senior figures uh, coming out against Boris Johnson. This, is, this exactly remind me, reminds me of uh, the final days of Theresa May, when uh, it was time for people to be brave enough to finally come out uh, against uh, the leadership of the party. It's interesting. I'm going to be very objective in this video, because I know there are some... Boris loyalists out there. There are some people who just hate Boris, whatever he does. You've got, you know, Tories and non-Tories. The reality is, of course, you know, investigation should happen first. But we also know that there was a gathering. We, <laughs> we already know. Regardless of the technicalities, it's just not a good look. Because he told everybody, you can't even walk uh, with, you know, two friends with a cup of coffee in the park. You couldn't do that. Uh, but, you know, they say that, well, on a technical level, they, they, these were colleagues. But you also told work colleagues and other companies to do social distancing in the office. Yet, this gathering, there was no social distancing. So we don't need a, an investigation to find out that that was already breaking the rules. But that's why it matters. Now, the reason that this kind of escalated is that uh, it seems like, uh, as we speak, actually, just came out a few months, minutes ago, that the Prime Minister and uh, his inner circle are doing the goodbye tour, <laughs> essentially going around in the parliamentary tea rooms uh, to talk to uh, the Tory uh, backbenchers and MPs to get the mood, to kind of see what people think. Should they resign? Should they wait and fight it and keep going? Because this is why we have the Prime Minister, Sajid Javid, Nadim Zahawi and Naj Ladders. All the, all the loyalists um, are coming, are going to the tea rooms to you know, speak to all the Tory MPs who are really, really angry at this point. So we know why this happens. The last time we had Something like this happening was Theresa May, the final days of Theresa May when she went to the tea rooms. She never used to go to the tea rooms. Before that, it was Margaret Thatcher in the 1990. Uh, uh, those days when, the final days of Margaret Thatcher when she went to the tea rooms, she didn't go to any of those uh, gatherings before to kind of just feel the vibe and the mood in the par parliamentary party. But in reality, we had a number of people today attacking Boris Johnson who really, really shouldn't say much. Kay Burley, for example, was very robust uh, on Sky News and Twitter, saying that, well, clearly the Prime Minister mis uh, misunderstood the rules, and you can't talk. <laughs> of all people, one person who can't talk is Kay Burley, who broke the rules herself. The other one is this guy, Keir Starmer, who we can see from the photo. There were a number of uh, stuff that came out uh, about Starmer and his senior team, who were allegedly, let's just say, allegedly having potentially illegal gatherings and drinks. So, <laughs> indoor <laughs> as well. So this one can't talk. The other one who was very, very angry today was Mark Drakeford. This guy, who was dancing around with no coverings and no social distancing at a party, apparently that's normal. So these guys, be, let's be objective. Whilst Boris Johnson and the whole Downing Street team is absolutely chaotic and right now just it's probably best for the party and the country for him to go and make some changes. As they say, a great reset is needed <laughs> well, for the Tory party. On the other hand, doesn't mean that the other side are also angels. Now, there is a, there's another problem. Everything is about politics on this issue. So Rishi Sunak was not present in Parliament during Prime Minister's questions. He, he, he just you know, conveniently left London uh, to, <laughs> to visit other parts of the country uh, so this was quite interesting because you know, he, he was too busy to attend the Prime Minister's questions, which is quite smart, considering the, the latest uh, leaked photos that we had from Downing Street, the uh, parties or gatherings uh, were actually taken from his office. It was the angle from the, the, that we had in the photos were from number 11. We don't know who took the photos, but let's just say it came from the Chancellor's office and he was not available. So what happened instead, we know that Downing Street do not like Liz Truss and they've been briefing against her. So it's quite interesting that they forced Liz Truss to sit right next to Boris today 
and you can see in her face she's not happy to be there <laughs> and there's, there's another thing yeah because they, they made every single one of them to also cover their faces including jk Spog, uh, to send the message that we are we are we're good kids now even though not you know, literally until yesterday, many of the from batch, well, a few of them, including Rismog, didn't really wear coverings all the time. But today was all about, you know, behaving. This is kind of fascinating because right now uh, we don't know exactly what to expect in terms of the investigation outcome timing. It could be by the end of the week. It could be early next week. But it could also mean that basically Boris Johnson has already made a mess today because he said that let's just, I'm not going to say anything, let's just wait for the investigation. So that means if the investigation confirms that they have broken the rules, then he has no choice but to resign. Uh, so let's just wait how many days. Well, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do a breaking news live reaction, live stream, whenever we find out what's going to happen to this country and ordinary people. Well, we'll see. Uh, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be uh, close to all this stuff that might come out within the next few hours as well later tonight from Westminster. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.